What does a beautiful future look like to you? You can flip a negative mood on its head. This was a talk that was all over the place, but then New York, you are all over the place. There are experiences that you just don't get anywhere else.
Thank you very much and good evening. It's so good to be here in New York City. This is the end of our uh, tour in the US. We started it about two weeks ago in California and we traveled all the way to here to this final concert and we're thrilled to play for you tonight. We've prepared for you a program uh, which follows a line, which follows a theme uh, and which is the integration or the connection of folk music into what we call classical music or concert hall music or art music, whichever term you prefer. Um, as a great example of this kind of experiment, we chose to begin the program with Bela Bartok, um, the Hungarian composer who uh, collected pieces, melodies and dances uh, from village people, from shepherds, from peasants, from all around the Balkans, brought these melodies into his studio and then reharmonized them, recomposed them, restructured them, integrated it into piano music, string quartet, symphonies, and so on. Um, this is very much the theme of tonight. Most of the composers are also more or less from the first half of the 20th century, uh, did the same thing with an old culture. If it's the Spanish Manuel de Falla, or the Brazilian Villa Lobos, or the Jewish Swiss uh, Bloch, they all took from their own heritage uh, and made classical pieces out of it. <laughs> so nice. Uh, but first, uh, we would like in the next set of pieces to put those two elements side by side. We're going to play some Turkish music, folk music, and then we'll play some Bach, and then we'll play some Bulgarian folk tune in 1516, and we'll, we'll play some more Bach, and then we'll play Bukharian Jewish music mixed together with Bach, and a big <laughs> salad. Uh, and uh, I'd like to invite to the stage at this point our dear friend, uh, percussionist, Itamar Doar.
My mandolin seems to be the only one who doesn't like the weather today in New York. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, uh, we're going to play three little pieces by the Georgian composer Sulhan Tsintsadze. Uh, he was a cellist. He was a cellist at the, uh, back in the days, very famous Georgian string quartet. And uh, he wrote for his quartet to play together um, about 30 or 40 little miniatures, all based on Georgian uh, folk melodies. Uh, we picked three of these uh, miniatures. Uh, the first one is Shepherd's Dance. The second one is called Suliko, and this is like the unofficial anthem almost of uh, Georgia. And uh, the last piece is the dance tune. When I say Georgia, I mean the country <laughs> on the Black Sea. <laughs>
thank you very much. From Spain, we're going to Brazil with uh, probably the most famous Brazilian composer, Hector Villalobos, uh, mostly known for uh, a cycle of composition, of compositions that he wrote for different instrumentations, from string quartet to symphonies to soprano and eight celli, which is the piece we're going to perform, uh, that he titled Bachianas Brasileiras. And in those Bachianas Brasileiras, he combines two of his greatest musical loves. Both of them I personally share very much. Uh, the music from Brazil, the Choro music, folk music from Brazil, and the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Combined together, he called these pieces Bachianas Brasileiras. <laughs> We're going to perform um, Bachianas Brasileiras number five. Uh, as mentioned, it's for soprano and a group of celli. Uh, also this piece, we took the music and rearranged it for our little uh, group. And uh, it's also called Aria.
you very much. We're the last piece for tonight's uh, concert, and uh, it takes us to Russia uh, with a composer that is not much known about. Uh, um, this concerto we're going to play is a concerto for Domra and orchestra originally. Domra is the Russian version of a mandolin. It's a folk instrument as popular as the balalaika in Russia. And he's really just famous for this concerto and also for um, films that he scored in the Soviet Union, especially a few extremely famous in the Soviet Union, cartoons. Uh, so this is Nikolai Budashkin. As I mentioned before, this is uh, the last concert of, uh, of a nine concerts uh, that we've played uh, in the States, and tomorrow we all go back home. And I wanted to thank, again, my partners here on stage, on the accordion, Ksenia Sidorova. And our percussion is Ita Mardoari. Thank you. 
mom doesn't call me. Um, so, throughout this tour, we came to this tour with one anchor, and throughout the sound checks that we had, it changed, uh, because we were trying out things. And uh, to make a long story short, I don't get to say that very often on stage, but here is my tune. 